guys, welcome one more time back to the Tokyo Ramen Show. This time in 2018. I've come back here um, to show you this great event. Um, this is the first day, sorry, the second day of this event. And uh, already the lines are quite long for the more popular choices this, uh, this year. And um, yeah, I wanted to show you what it looks like this year. There's a lot of different and uh, interesting choices this year. There's going to be unisoba, there's uh, some halal ramen variety, there's some, um, I think, crab and shrimp ones, there's more traditional ones. The great thing is you have like over 10 stores, I think like around 15 stores um, as a choice. And there's, there's really something for everyone. You have the traditional tonkotsu ramen, you have shio, shoyu, whatever you like. And the great thing is it's from all over the country. So if you ever wanted to try stuff from a different region uh, outside of Tokyo, then today and um, in the next two weeks actually, you can. And uh, today I've actually come here to try unisoba, which is uh, sea urchin eggs, which should be interesting. I've never tried it. And um, yeah, let's, let's see how it turns out. So that was absolutely fantastic, Tori Python style, um, laced with um, the sea urchin, makes everything creamy, very savory. If you didn't know that it's sea urchin, and I've had, if you have never tried it, you would probably not be able to figure out what it actually is. And it's, it's super nice, <laughs> and the guy is yelling behind me all the time. It was a really fantastic taste. Um, definitely a, something completely new and um, I would even recommend it for people who usually don't like uni too much because this one was not bitter at all. The meat was also fantastic, it was a little bit chewy um, but not in a bad way, more like it has like a little bit chewy texture. The flavor was super nice, it was a little bit like uh, yutan, so um, beef tongue in a way but really really good. And yeah, it was a definitely a great starter for this festival. And um, yeah, I wanted to just get this video out there so you know about this festival. You can get out here. It's easy to reach from Shibuya actually. And uh, you should give it a try. And I'll probably be back here in the next couple of weeks. So this is day three of the Tokyo Ramen Show. And I thought I'll, I'll give you a little bit uh, something extra. Because yesterday it was a little bit dark and uh, yeah, today the weather is fantastic so I thought I'll come here again and uh, try a couple more and uh, yeah let me take you with me and I'll show you what I'm getting today
Miso, ne? Silky. First try. Oh yeah. And hey, you can totally taste the well, lobster in the miso. What oh, is a fantastic taste? So now you just mix it around and dissolve it in the, the soup, I guess. <laughs> as if you're biting into lobster. Really, really nice, really strong flavor. Salty, rich. Let's try the soup. Oh, yeah. Absolutely rich lobster, crab flavor. Lovely with the, with the miso. Fantastic. I like the, the, the thin noodles, this one. Perfectly. Very good. Ramen Show 2018. I had four different ramen so far and there's still 12 more to try. Just a quick recap, I first had the uh, Tori Paitan with sea urchin mixed into the broth. Second one was uh, crab, crab, a very well balanced crab miso. Then a lobster miso which has a really really nice lobster flavor. And then the last one was absolutely fantastic and definitely worth a long way. That was the one with the longest line. Uh, with an aged miso, a little bit spicy, but an absolutely fantastic uh, chashu that was, I think, charcoal grilled or something like that. Definitely had some kind of smoky and yeah, a little bit burnt flavor going on that was absolutely outstanding. And uh, the stuff that you get uh, as an uh, addition, the additional toppings, 
were just like massive. You've seen it, and it, I absolutely recommend. Usually, when you go to Israeli festivals, if there's a long line, there's a good reason. So, come here. This festival is still ongoing for at least more than a week. Um, if you're in Tokyo in this time, swing by. It's definitely worth it. And maybe I'll see you here. And maybe um, I'll make another video for the second week. So, I'll see you in the next one.